addition of vectors addition of vectors vector addition the addition of vectors then for example there are two vectors vector a and vector b so these two vectors are having same or it may have different magnitude so in the two vectors one direction travel panad i want to find out the sum of these two vectors this we call as the tail of edu in the starting point irukli adu than tail yara irukiradhu head nu solvanga now i am going to join the tail of one vector with the head of other vector so if i join like this for example if this vector a is having 3 cm magnitude the length of this vector a is 3 cm and the length of this vector a is 8 cm so what i am going to do i am going to find out the addition of these two vectors now i will join this tail of one vector with the head of another vector and this total length will gives you the resultant of these two vectors vector la matto answer vandu nama resultant endra oru word a use pannum so here r endra the epime resultant resultant endra dinna add paniyo multiply paniyo vera answer varum illaya and magnitude kandu pidikkaradhukku that we call as the resultant of the vectors so if i join like this i will get the total length of these two vectors so 8 plus 3 is your 11 cm this gives you the resultant of the two vectors so ore direction irundha ipdi panna pora opposite direction la irundhala then i will join and i can find out the addition of vectors but there are some vectors there is also another possibility if these two vectors are inclined like this then how to find out the addition of these two vectors see this vector p as in this direction and vector q is inclined at an angle so both are inclined so if any two vectors are inclined like this how to find out the addition of vectors inge ordinary methods use panna maatom if this is the case we have two methods or two laws to find out the addition of vectors one is the triangle law of vector the other one is the parallelogram law of vectors so epdi inda triangle law va parallelogram law use pannuvo edavadhu rendu vector vande indha mari or angle la inclined a irundhadna appo nam enna pannano rendu law use panna porom to find out the resultant of these two vectors one is triangle law the other one is the parallelogram law of vectors triangle law na vector galin முக்கோண விதின்வாங்க ட்ரையாங்கிள் லா வந்து என்னது முக்கோண விதி இது இணைக்கர விதி பாரலோகிராம் லா அப்படின்றது இணைக்கர விதி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் we will see what is meant by triangle law of vectors triangle law னா என்னன்னு பார்க்கலாம் for example there are two vectors vector p and vector q இப்போ இது ரெண்டுத்தையும் ஆட் பண்ண முடியாது ஏன்னா வேற ஒரு கோணத்துல வேற வேற திசையில அது டிராவல் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கு so what i will do i will just draw this vector p as it is and this vector q irukliya epoyume nam eppadi join pannuvom idu tail tail join a irukku head of this one vector with the tail of another vector so in the vector q apdi just draw like this now this is vector q that is tail of vector q i have joined with the head of vector p and this will be the closing side of these two vectors that is i am going to join this tail of vector p with the head of vector q now this length will give you the resultant of these two vectors this we call it as the triangle law of vectors idu da unnude mukkona vidhi so now this is nothing but a triangle formula vandirchu adha paakumbodhu how i can define this triangle law of vectors if any two vectors if they represent the two sides of a triangle then the closing side will give you the resultant of the two vectors taken in the reverse order so this is the way you are going to define the triangle law vectors adha mukkona vidhi so idu onnu ipo inda rendu sides um eppadi irukka or triangle ode rendu sides a irundadna indha mari procedure vechi resultant ah kandupidikalam if not if there are any two vectors if they represent the two sides of a parallelogram parallelogram na eppadi irukum i draw this eppadi irukum illaya so if there are any two vectors if they represent the two sides of a parallelogram then this diagonal passing through this it gives you the resultant of the two vectors so inge vande or mukkona thodiya rendu sides represent panna and the closing side the resultant idu eppadi irukku ipo indha rendu vector they are representing the two sides of a parallelogram if that is the case this diagonal passing will give you the resultant of these two vectors so in the parallelogram law of vector so which we are going to find out the resultant and the angle now this one is important 10 mark question just now you will see that 